So for the last few months on Mondays, we've been doing a video series on SED, interacting with text files uh, using the SED command. Uh, and we're going to jump forward in the new year uh, with a lot of videos I'm very excited about. Um, I think they're definitely more exciting than SED. <laughs> SED is a useful tool, but not as much fun as I think what these tutorials are going to be uh, for you and also very useful. Uh, so starting the first Monday in January of 2014, we're going to start doing series on um, images, file systems, and boot processes. Um, so. We're going to be looking at taking uh, ISOs of live CDs and how to mount those ISOs, then how to go in and what the different parts of the boot process are, and like uh, the init RAM disk, the initial RAM disk image, how to decompress that, modify it, how to recompress it, uh, how to take things in a CPIO compression, uh, uncompress that, recompress that. You know, uh, a lot of uh, live CDs use uh, squash file systems. We're going to take the squash file systems. We're going to learn how to, to extract the files from that, change things, go into a chur root and modify the system, and then recompress it back into a squash file system, put it back into an ISO, and then recreate the live CD from there. So we're going to be doing a lot of customizing of live CDs uh, in different ways, using different file formats uh, and image systems. The, we're also going to be looking into uh, you know, uh, firmware images. You have a router that has a firmware. Most, most, most devices nowadays, uh, for a long time now, run Linux, uh, and you'll get firmware updates, which are little bin files usually. We're going to look into a little bit on how to uh, see if there's images and what files are in there, how to walk through that uh, file, how to extract that file, maybe search for different things in there so you can learn more about it, maybe make some modifications in some circumstances. Um, so just a whole bunch of stuff like that, uh, and that's what we'll be working on for for months, for the first few months at least, of 2014. So again, that will start on the first Monday of January 2014. Just file systems, file systems, compressions, boot processes. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, more things like, like making a bootable floppy that will grab your file system from the a server somewhere and load it onto the system. Uh, we're going to look at other ways to modify the bootloader for floppy disks and, and CDs. We'll probably get a little bit into Grub. Um, so definitely stuff, stuff I like playing with, definitely. So definitely, definitely, definitely. How many times have I said definitely? It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm having fun with the videos I've already made. Going to be making a lot more. Going to be learning a lot, teaching a lot. Hopefully you're going to be learning a lot. I just want to thank you for watching. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Link in the description. That's my website. Great place to go. Search through my videos, playlists. Uh, also, uh, I just hope that you have a great day and Happy New Year.